pounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record. Eight wins, two losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting out of Bashevsky, Kemerovo, Russia. Roman Papillon. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record, 13 wins, six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 186 pounds, fighting out of Rome, Italy, Alessio Mezzo Di Chirico. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Rich Mitchell. Rich Mitchell, the man between the middleweights. Thank you very much, Brooklyn. Round number one ahead. We are live from the Accor Arena in Paris, France. They seem to love them. Some Alessio Di Chirico here as well. Obviously, Italy not far away. This fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. Di Chirico in green, Kopilov in red. Kopilov told me that he's expecting a striking fight with many sharp exchanges. Well, I love watching the Kiriko fight. You know, it's it's kill or be killed. You know, live by the sword, die by the sword type thing. And he's just mean. You know, and I, I was standing in the elevator with him the other day, and he was mean then as well. I said <laughs> hi to him. He looked at me like he wanted to headbutt me. <laughs> you know, I was like, hey, I get it. You switched on, you're fighting in a couple of days. I, I love it. That's what I want to see. And as you said, Paul, the uh, that head kick knockout that he had over Joaquin Buckley, who's up next, by the way. I mean, what a sensational victory that was. Probably his best so far inside the octagon. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was incredible. Nice check hook by Di Kiriko. He's had a lot of challenges over the last few years with the situation in Italy and his training. But everything seems to have been more aligned these days. Training a little bit with Marvin Vittori in Rome and Gegard Musassi as well. Alessio, fingers, fingers, Alessio. Southport versus Orthodox. Kopilov does have a good head kick. As we found out against Jurayev. You can see Dekirko is sitting back. He's playing the patience game, looking to counter big time as Kopilov comes in with these big strikes. He's looking to sit back, just get out of the way of them and crack back. Yeah, and several times now he's looked for that head kick. Because when you land it and your opponent falls down and goes to sleep, you it feels it good. <laughs> you want that feeling again. But you can't be predictable with it though. Can't throw it too much. I think Kopilov's problem and correct me if I'm wrong gents is that it's just been a bit outstruck in fights so he's yeah. been working on that volume trying to get that that going a bit better 100% oh, is one of the notes that I had you know essentially he just doesn't have enough output you know and allows the fight to fall from his grasp there's a nice jab though yeah he's showing some good speed so far he's just got to watch because the Kiriko is baiting him in Interesting to see whether Kopilov does look to wrestle, seeing as he's out in Dagestan at the moment, in that wrestling room. Interestingly, two-time Olympic wrestling champ, Sadulayev Abdul Rashid is in that room as well, as guys like Armand Petrosian who are in the UFC. Well, it's certainly a path to victory for him. I mean, don't get me wrong, Dikiriko is a mixed martial artist, so he can grapple as well. But he's more of a striker, you know, and for Kopilov, you got to mix things up, keep him guessing. Just the thought of trying to take that may confuse him and open up the strikes. A nice left body kick there for Kopilov. There's a sharp jab. This is what he needs more of this. I like that body kick from that southpaw stance. And De Kiriko's loading up every now and then on that big right hand. If he could slide under that elbow, tap that liver. Oh, that's oh, nice. 
I mean, the speed of from Tim Kiriko, the speed of Kopilov, when he lets it go, I know it sounds like a broken record now. It's really good. It's just not enough. Stepping elbow, way out of range. Some good redness on that lead calf of Alessio as well. Kopilov has just been patient with touching it, touching it. And Dikiriko is winding up. Oh, he's, now he's really Ooh. trying to get a big shot off. It was like oh. a nice screw jab by Kopilov. Comes with a left kick there. He's finding the mark. You see the damage on the face of Dikiriko. Four-time world champion in hand-to-hand -hand combat is Roman Kopilov. Alessio Dikiriko came through the... IMF program, I believe, the amateur mixed martial arts scene. Oh, flying knee. Good catch, though, by Dikiriko. And it's Dikiriko. Oh, not with the takedown. Came close, though. Yeah, good defense there from Kapilov. Still with it. It's not over. But the Last round 10 is. seconds. <laughs> we'll be back with round number two after these. Put ice on it, put ice on it. Is your head spinning? Look at me. You need to hit the straights a little bit more. Don't react to what he's doing because otherwise he's just going to play with you. Look at the outside kick and then when he throws it go into him. you need to work a little okay. bit harder with your shots fingers <laughs> lower On Tuesday, another episode of UFC Roundup is coming at you. Join our man Paul Felder and Michael Chiesa as they look back at tonight's Paris event, as well as previewing UFC 279's welterweight headliner. It's yours Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, exclusively on YouTube. What's it you're talking about? Well, I'll be listening to see if you say nice things about Michael and I. UFC Roundup? <laughs> we talk sandwiches, too, on that show. Ooh, Don't miss it. Kill a good sandwich. Yeah, what? What? Michael, we have to bring you in, and bring we can just in. talk sandwiches. Well... I'm offended I haven't been asked before. That's how you know what? Quite frank. I'm disgraced that Michael Ricci, who's our producer for that show, and now we just asked you officially, so but you'll I be getting a call I from our people. <laughs> Can we change it from sandwiches to knuckle sandwiches? Hey, we got gentlemen. plenty going on right here in this matchup. Yeah, the Kinnikal came out looking fired up. Long combination, but nothing really landed at the start of the round. And the, the Italian fans were singing during the time the guys were on the stool as well, so... He'd have felt that. He's going to need them as well in this one. It's a tight contest. Oh, nice rip to the body from Kopilov. Yeah, Kopilov doing a good job of just getting out of the way of these big shots that Takirovo is trying to land. Yeah, big. like that knee. That yeah. knee was just a couple of inches away. Oh, nice one, two for Kopilov. Yeah, Kopilov leaving that evidence on the face of Dikidiko that he's been at work. Starting nicely with the jab, right? I mean, do we agree? That's that's what he said. Look, he's starting everything with a nice, snappy jab, and then he loads up the combinations behind it. So, wow. you have to address that first. And there's that takedown defense from Dagestan. Yeah. yeah, looking sharp. He's frustrating, Alessio. Yeah, because Alessio's putting a lot of... He's exerting a lot of energy trying to get those takedowns. When you don't get it, it's demoralizing, and you start to second guess it. What can I do? What is oh, the yeah. success? Big That's it. Got him again. Again. No, no. He's, Double a, right. he's a striker first. Oh. Now they're exchanging. Oh. Oh. Both guys landing. Some of these guys, I'm telling you, I think they're feeling the heat inside of this octagon yeah. tonight. It, it, it'll wear you out. It is very, very hard here. Very hard. Galena, Galena, Galena. 
little damage to Kopinov's nose, which clearly has been forged. Its shape has been forged in battle. Yeah, well, yeah, obviously you can tell. I don't know what you're talking that about. Broken it's a distinguished club in the part of it. He's definitely been cracked in the face a few times. That right hand is free of Alessio. If he can start throwing some uppercuts, now Kapilov's got a good grip on it. Still looking for the takedown, but this takedown defense, Kapilov's got to be happy so far with how he's been able to stay up on his feet, even like we talked about. He may not want to use it offensively. He may have gone there just so he can really sharpen all of the defensive skills yes. up. Well, listen, when you're in a training room like that and you've got solid wrestlers, you know, the, the caliber that you oh. understand, trying to take you down every day, you've got to get better at defending. Simple as that. That body shot had to have hurt a little bit. Good poker face from DeKirico, but man. It's a, you, you can see where it's landing. It's, it's oh, pitch and, perfect. That, and that's, I think, two or three that Copy Lock has landed solid in this fight so far. Ooh. These guys are throwing. Let's see what happens. Oh, he lets him back up. Interesting. Ooh. The body kicks money. Yeah, and he's investing in it very well. That was a nice knee. That was a good way to mix it up. Oh, he's following it up. Dikiniko looking to double down on his work. 45 seconds left in round two. I think Kapilov's got to eventually go back to that liver kick. We just saw in our ISO the replay. Oh, it was a little high on the ribs, which I'm sure did plenty of damage. But if that's just a couple inches lower, that could be a fight ender because that would have been all liver. And it's a classic kick. Southpaw oh, versus all, it's all the worst, dogs. right? It really is. Well, no, nothing ruins your day in a training session more than just a perfectly timed liver kick while well, maybe getting knocked out as well but i'd say the liver's almost worse looks like we're gonna get to round number three some fatigue setting in now for kopilov we'll be back after the break Я тебе кричу 10 секунд остаться с ноги в голову ударить. Хорошо же пошло с ноги в голову. Он видишь, раз ты в корпус ударил, два корпус ударил, он руки опустил на корпус. Он руки на корпус опустил. Понимаешь? Поэтому не застаивайся. Да, ногами больше работай. Ногами хорошие, быстрые. Ногами больше работай. Давай, 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 братан. Давай, давай. Is that clear for you? Do you understand? You need to be convinced. You need to be determinated. Come on. Let's go. Let's keep going. After tonight's main event, don't miss a recap of all the action on the UFC Fight Night post show on ESPN Plus. Anthony Smith and Alan Joban join Karen Bryant for all the highlights and analysis. Plus, Megan O'Leary has interviews with all the big winners from tonight's card. The post show is only on ESPN Plus. Third and final round here between these two oh! battling middleweights. There's a couple of nice shots for De Kiddico. He came on strong at the end of round two. He's picked up where he left off. And his corner wants him to kick. Oh, they want him to kick. That is all they said. Kick him in the body, kick him in the body, kick him in the body, and then <laughs> kick him in the head. Kick hard, often, and he comes out and punches. <laughs> You know, it's easier oh, said nice. than done. Of course, yeah, but you're right. <laughs> throwing punches is a lot less tiring than throwing kicks or flying knees. There's no doubt about that. Oh, that's what they're talking about. He was a little lower on that one. Copy love listened to his corner. Yep. Oh, man, sharp one, too. Oh, copy oh, love. Yes, and everybody in punches. Oh, that's right, that's right. She puts him out. Wow. Biggest win of Copy love's career. What a combination. That 
was very tidy work. That's the performance after the setbacks that Kapilov has had, switching training up, really dedicating himself and coming out here and letting it go in a third round in a, in a tough fight so far to go and put away a tough guy like Dekirko. That was money. And now a look at tonight's freaky fast finish brought to you by Jimmy Johns. All right, let's take a look here. He's really started, these body kicks have really been getting under the elbow of DeKirko, and then he just starts lightning fast with these hands, and DeKirko drops his hands, makes a big mistake, and copies.